Hey guys, Croft is here. In Prometheus, we see a hologram of the engineer starting the juggernaut using a flute, the same way David was able to turn on the navigation system. I thought it was slightly weird and unclear why the engineer would use such a simple and old instrument to start a highly advanced ship capable of space travel. So how juggernauts work? Turns out the science behind juggernauts is quite interesting and explains why the ship crashed on paradise sometime after the bombing. It also explains why the mother juggernaut is missing and where did it go since it's no longer present in this arena-like place. Remember this is just a theory and when I first read it, it seemed a little bit hard to believe, but when I looked at the evidence from Prometheus and Alien Covenant, it actually made sense. First of all, the most obvious explanation is that the ship's navigation system requires a flute sound to ensure that the pilot is in fact a living and intelligent being and not a robot. But because David was programmed with an ability to create, he is able to pass as a humanoid. Besides this simple explanation, there is much more to what the juggernaut actually is and how it works. From outside, it is a large asymmetrical wishbone-shaped craft with thickened central section between two horns which bend upwards. The ship resembles an ancient symbol called the Ouroboros. It represents cyclicality, especially in the sense of something constantly recreating itself. The juggernaut measured 170 meters in length and 116 meters wide. Here are some scenes from Prometheus that lead to a very interesting conclusion about the juggernaut. When David is playing around with the controls, he presses on those little egg-like buttons and they produce sounds as if they were reacting to the touch. When the crew meets the engineer, if you pay attention to the suit, you'll notice that it's integrated with his body because of the way it merges with his neck. As we know, engineers are able to create life and they are highly skilled in manipulating biomaterials. So their suits are also bioengineered and may act as living parts of their bodies. That brings up a theory that the ship, or at least a part of it, is organic and a result of bioengineering. Probably many people originally assumed that the juggernaut is a non-biotechnology because of the way we build our spaceships, cars and other mechanisms. But since engineers are so advanced in biological engineering, they integrate living organisms into their spacecrafts. That's why the juggernaut is a mix of biological and mechanical components, so we can pretty much say that the ship is alive. I know it may sound a little bit ridiculous, but hold on because it actually answers many questions from Prometheus and what happened to Juggernaut and the mother Juggernaut in Alien Covenant. That would explain why the interior of the Juggernaut resembles more a living organism than a space-going vessel with skeletal walls, circular gangways and steep passages. When the engineer prepares to launch the ship, it seems like the seat envelops him and he becomes a part of it. When the crew enters the juggernaut, the texture of walls starts to change, as if the ship detected an unknown organism and responded by changing the environment. The crew also notices that something inside the ship generates an atmosphere, so it's possible that the juggernaut has a mechanism to produce oxygen for engineers or the organic part of the ship needs oxygen itself. The engineer plays a flute to activate a part of the navigation system. The sound must be of the right frequency to communicate with the juggernaut's biopart and thus activate the ship. This can be a producer's reference to the string theory that suggests that everything is made of vibrations, so by playing a certain frequency the engineers are able to get access to interstellar travel. I also noticed that in the scene where the ship Prometheus crashes the juggernaut, you can hear some weird low-frequency sounds. And it may be just the music, but it doesn't fit the rhythm, so if this theory is correct, these sounds may be produced by the juggernaut itself as a response to being destroyed. Now let's talk about how the Juggernaut and the Mother Juggernaut crashed. Yes, we actually know from the movie that the Mother Juggernaut was also taken down. When Daniels and Loeb leave the Paradise Planet for a few seconds, we can actually see the crashed Mother Juggernaut in the background at the base of the mountain. So how did the ships crash? 
We know now that they have biological or living components, so when David released such a big amount of the black goo in the atmosphere, some of the pathogen might have penetrated the juggernaut and affected the organic part of the ship. For the same reason, the mother juggernaut was taken down since it was in direct contact with the black goo. Let me know what you guys think about the Juggernaut's technology and if you also found it unusual that the interstellar spaceship had this kind of organic interior design. Thanks to everyone who watched till the end, like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more alien content.